Hey guys, Chase here with another interview for you guys. So the first person I'm interviewing today is Jordan. So you haven't been here in quite a while. It's nice to have you back. How do you feel? Yeah, it's been about a year. It's great to be back. Nice. So you have any plans for, well, being back pretty much? I'm sure I'll just stay a cameraman. Maybe be sent in some of the, with the 24 seven ones. The 20, yeah. 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 Yeah, maybe. I mean, if you're interested in it, but that's on you. I mean, but, uh, I mean, do you enjoy just being the cameraman or do you want to expand? Yeah, I, I enjoy it. I'd like to have a little bit of a role, maybe, and at some point, maybe not in, like wrestling, but just a role, a character or something. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's always easier being behind the camera instead of in oh, front of it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, in my opinion, I even I have difficulty doing it myself. That's why I haven't really recorded many videos just by myself. But, I mean, we can definitely set something up for you to expand, pretty much. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, that was just a short little interview. I don't really have any more questions for you, but if you'd like to add something, you can definitely add something. Not think of anything right now. <laughs> okay. So that's that interview for you guys. We will see you with the next person. Hey guys, we're here with our next inter well at person with the next interview. So we're interviewing ref Ohito. So you enjoy refing that for us? Yeah, I like seeing those guys as well play, man. I'm just happy to be here. Yeah, would you like to expand more than just being the ref? Why not? These guys are talented, so I want to stay here forever, if I can. Yeah, would you like to join anybody in the ring? I don't know. I'm not a big guy, but those guys are so talented, so I don't know about that. I guess not. You never know, though. I mean, hey, everybody starts somewhere, right? I mean, it would be nice to have you in the ring, I think. Yeah, I would try. But I don't know, I know I really get my ass get kicked, so those guys are so talented and I'm scared to be honest. Sometimes I'm riffing too much and I'm scared myself, I'm scared. Imagine I go there 1v1, so yeah, I, you never know though. That's fair. Uh, I don't think you'd get as beat up as you think. But that's if you're interested in ever joining us in the ring. So I hear you're going to take a short break and go back to visit your family in Africa. Yeah, it's been like a long seven years, so now I have to go spend time with friends, family, uncles, you know. I miss them, I miss them so much, so I have to go see them spend like a few months. So I know I really miss you guys, but you know, I keep watching eyes on you guys. Hey, I mean, you're not going to be gone forever. We'll greet you when you come back. Yeah, thank you so much. Yep. yep. I don't think I have any more questions for Ref Ohito, so... I'll move on to the next interview. Okay guys, and we're here with our third and final interview for today. It is our newest member, Napalm. Unfortunately, he's not here for very long. He only had a month long contract. So how do you feel about that? You know, I'm, I'm feeling relieved and I'm feeling grateful. Uh, I had so much fun being back here with you guys and getting to have this experience with y'all. and. Uh, being able to wrestle and kick some ass like I came here to do, and it was wonderful. I enjoyed it a lot, but I'm also sad that it's only a month contract. But the thing is, this ain't the same thing to me. I yeah. will be back. I don't know when, but I will be. I mean, we'll be waiting. I mean, this dude's a natural talent, and it seems like he's done this before, in my opinion. But, um, 
So how do you enjoy all your matches against these people? All my matches, it, it, it was fun and it was competitive. And you know, all these guys out here, they have talent. Very amazing, good talent out here. And I'm just honored and grateful that I was able to wrestle with them and also kick their ass all at the same time. <laughs> so there was a bit of a unexpected turn. No, your own manager just betrayed you, yeah. threw you in, into the dirt just like you did to the rest of us. We tried to warn you, but you didn't listen. And then, so how'd you feel about it when it happened? So when it happened, I was shocked and I was betrayed. Stabbed in the back, as you could say. As you all said, that it happened to everybody here. But the thing is, is, I was dumb enough not to listen to you guys and trust him. I gave him my everything, my all, and it wasn't my fault that he lost that championship. It was his own fault for not getting prepared for a taser to come into play. And then for him to blame that on me, I tried to break it up, but then blame it on me and then attack me after I won my title. Yeah. In my opinion, that's just a coward and a pussy. And, and by the way, he's the one that brought the taser into the match. Uh, well, during that match that we had uh, when he was uh, with his world championship, he did not. Oh, he didn't? He did not, no. Oh. Who had that taser was Nate Dogg. Yeah. Nate Dogg had that taser. He pulled it out. I at least, I did not expect it. And then I got tased and I went down. Yeah. And then, of course, my so-called partner, my boss, my manager, my sidekick, he ended up getting tased twice. Yeah. I tried to break it up. Yeah. But it's his fault that he didn't kick up. He doesn't listen to anybody, so... <laughs> no, you're not wrong there. You're not wrong, but... I, ha I got to face him. Yeah. After the betrayal, after me winning the championship, I gave him a time of his life. And he gave me a time of my life. But CJ ain't shit. If I can beat him, shit, he ain't got nothing. I know, he thinks he's the top dog. I mean, you heard him do that Roman Reigns bull crap. That... Ain't nobody like Roman Reigns, but, um, so I, I, how did it feel when you got tasered in the nipple? When I got tasered in the nipple, uh, that sucked. That sucked the major. Um, it hurt. It hurt all the way until mine and his match when I got tasered in the nipple. I was about to say, you gave him a taste of his own medicine. Yeah, yeah. and then for some reason, the pain just went away. <laughs> it just went away like it was never there. Transferred it from you to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I know you got twice as worse. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't really got too much more questions for you. Uh, actually, that was my last one. So if you'd like to add anything before you leave. Well, I'd just like to thank everybody for giving me the chance. For how badass it was winning this and being the champion. I'm really pushing the title until I come back for it. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting that. Well, you heard it here, folks. He just relinquished the title. That means this belt is free for anybody to take. That's... But if I come back and CJ has his title, he's going to get another ass whooping, and I will get it back. Oh, I bet. Like I said, he thinks he's the top dog. Well, that's, uh, as far as I know, that's everything. I hope you enjoy your stay back at home and you send in videos on how you're doing and everything for the backstage. And that's everything. I'll see you guys later. Definitely will. Thank you so much. And that is it for interviews with Chase today, so I will see you guys later.